Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks again for joining us for our continued uh, uh, video series on layout creation and design. I believe we are at uh, video number nine. Oh my goodness, it's, uh, things are getting out of control. Um, there's just a lot of things in x lights that you have to learn how to build and whenever you don't know how to build them uh, it's kind of important to have the kind of baseline knowledge of, of how to do that so today we are going to learn about the arches how you can create arches now there's a number of ways you can do this um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you a couple different reasons for the way that I build mine but uh, first before we get started I want to let you know that today's video is brought to you by the PPD sequence club and our vendor affiliates and when you join the PPD club not only do you get an awesome sequence each month with your membership you also get access to the PPD vendor club specials and if you haven't looked at our affiliates page we have a number of affiliates who do offer different discounts at different times of the season uh, you can find discounts from Boscoyo Studios extreme lighting displays wired watch CFOL Wizards of Wire pixel sequencing.com showstopper sequences and also holiday sequences. So there is a number of vendors uh, that that we work with that who are also Pixel vendors uh, that you get great savings from. We also have CCL controllers, uh, Scott LED, Cool Tees, Twisted Decals, and Matos Designs, and also uh, David Peace at Pixel Two Things, uh, and who's just joined us. So, folks, give us a look up on the PPD website and learn more whenever you join to become a PPD member. So, moving right along, let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to go ahead and click one time on the arch model, and this is what you get. What you see is what you get. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. You get an arch. So, um, notice the arch has a nice, perfectly round shape. Uh, it is a half uh, circle. Basically, you can see here we have arc degrees, and it's at 180. If your arches are not 180 degrees, let's say they're at 100 degrees, and they're they're more of a low profile arch, you can also recreate that here in X Lights just by changing the arc. Um, also, we have this arch tilt. I'll go ahead and make the make the arch at 180 degrees, and we have the arch tilt and as we raise the number if we change it to 30 you can see what happens is we lean to the left if we change this to a minus 30 it sh it leans to the right now you can also do this manually by doing this so you can if you're trying to place arches up your driveway and you want to have that nice perfect look of of the arches um, you know marching right up your driveway you can create a second one here uh, I mean, you could also copy and paste. I guess that would be easier. C select, Control C on your keyboard, Control V. We are in Windows, by the way. I don't know if that works in Mac. Um, so you could you could create your arches going up the side of your driveway. Oop, I'm taking the hat off my house. Ha. And you could do that kind of a thing. Um, but by all means, you have a bunch of functionality and and ability to make it work the way that you'd like it to. So let's go back and uh, make this nice and nice and even again because my layout is standard. It's not anything uh, sideways or crazy. So I uh, lucky me, I, I I just get to grab it and pull it straight down here and I can put it right here in my yard. So um, now there's two ways to create the arches. Now I've already showed you, you can hit control C and then you can hit control V and you've pasted, copy and pasted this arch to this arch. And I can do that again. Now I have four arches that, um, that are along the front end of my house and I can place those appropriately here. Uh, let's move these down, move these down. Actually, I'm going to put them down here, and I'll show you why. There we go. Um, what we can do is we can level them out. We can select them all, right-click, and we can distribute uh, or align to the bottom, and it will make them nice and perfectly lined up. And then what we can do is right-click, and uh, we can... Oops, I have to select them all first. Right-click and distribute horizontally so that makes them spaced out evenly apart now I didn't take the time to make them perfect so they're not sitting up and down perfectly but you could do that as well make them make them nice and pretty and once you, once you're happy with that you can select them all and you can move them with just using the arrow keys and X lights and there we go 
those are those are kind of placed decent enough. Um, I mean, I could make them smaller so that they're not so uh, out of the picture here. But um, but that's the just of doing a couple arches. Now, as you create one arch, you'll see arch number one here, and this will say arch two. This will say arch three, bam, and arch number four. And then finally, if you wanted to, you could also recreate this, uh, the arch, the exact same way, only you could connect them all in one single line. And how you would do this is you would say, okay, how many pixels are in my arch? Now, I, I happen to kind of gloss over this, but this is kind of important now that, now that we're going to get into... Um, um, the total arch. There's 50 pixels that are automatically loaded into an arch whenever you uh, create the arch by default. If you have more pixels in your arch, let's say you have 100 pixels, you can always change this to 100. Also, uh, now I'll change that back to 50. I'm changing the wrong one. Uh, I'll, I'll go down here to this one. Nodes per arch, we could do uh, 50 or 100 or whatever nodes per arch that you have. Now the other thing that you can do is you can, instead of manually creating each individual arch, which is the way I honestly I like to do it, because then I can grab them and I can move them exactly where they're going to be in the layout. And you'll see, you'll see as we move on to this step here, you can always create multiple arches. So instead of having four individuals, I could have four that are all one model. So if I just uh, click 4 and I leave this at 50 now you see four little arches here and I can click and drag these out to be the same length or distance that these are so what's nice about this is this is all one prop it shows up as one group automatically in X lights the the downside to this though is some of the render styles whenever you do importing sequences and so forth from arches that are typically like this uh, from a group don't map exactly the same so if you want a one for one sometimes you have to build them the same way other people do but what's nice is that whenever you're working in the layout you, you literally can grab them and move them around and um, you'll see that uh, they all move together uh, versus having to individually place them you know for some people this is tedious and and they don't want to do that and I understand that so there are two options in here for you that you can create your layout the way that you'd like depending on what works best for you so uh, that's rather uh, large let me make that a little bit smaller so there we go so yes you have two different options for creating arches for inside your display another thing that you should be aware of is if you aren't using bullet nodes or let's say you're using pixel strips for example let's say that whenever you create your arches with those strips maybe some of those strips don't have uh, one LED per pixel sometimes they have three LEDs per pixel now um, those may not be as common now as they used to be back uh, to 2014 and 15, the arches or the uh, mega trees used to have uh, three LEDs per pixel strip pixel. And so instead, you'd have 50 pixels from top to bottom, and you had a 16 foot length or what was five meters, but you only had 50 pixels, but each pixel had three LEDs. So it made it really, really bright for each one pixel. If you're using those same kind of LEDs uh, on your strips, then you could also adjust here by using the lights per node section. And all you have to do is to change this to, to uh, make it look a little bit more realistic or um, real to your arch is just change this simply to three nodes per arch. Now, at the same token, that makes this nice and solid, but you also may not have 50 of those nodes. So if you did use a whole tape of 16 feet, this is 10 feet right here in my in my world this is 10 feet so I don't think I would be using 16 feet of uh, pixel tape to to go in through this arch uh, I may only have 25 pixels on there so 25 pixels but three nodes per pixel still gives a nice density and it's gonna look really really good either way so there's some options for you when you are creating your arches and just kind of getting started with getting the layout and so forth built. So, guys, that's your tips and tricks for the day. Like this video if you liked it. Share it with other people if you really loved it. Remember to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen right now so that you can know when we have a brand new video out. Also, hit the bell for notifications that you get immediate notification. And you can watch the awesome videos that we're producing here at PPD. Finally, if you haven't signed up, go and check out the PPD Facebook group at Pixel Pro University. We have an awesome community there, which you should totally join and jump in. And there is no pixtimidation. Lastly, folks, 
if you really appreciate the work that we do here at the PPD YouTube channel and you find the content helpful and useful, consider supporting us for one month by joining up for the PPD Sequence Club. You get an awesome sequence each month and you show your appreciation. Thank you so much for watching, folks. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.